Welcome to the Bachelor's Den. I'm Clement Lau. When it comes down to comfort food, Shepherd's Pie has always been one of my favorites. You got the beef, you got the vegetables all mixed in together, topped off with some mashed potatoes. It's like heaven every bite. Today, we're gonna make something a little bit different. It's called pastel de choco. It's a famous dish in South America, especially in Chile. And I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. So let's get cooking. Let's start with ingredients. We need about two pounds of ground beef, four chicken breast, a cup of raisins, half a cup of olives, one onion, four hard boiled eggs, two tablespoons paprika, two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of flour, two garlic cloves, about two cups of cornmeal. We need about three cups of milk, cup of cream, and two cups of pea stock. Let's begin by prepping. Prepping is actually half the battle. If you have good prepping skills, your cooking times can cut down to half and I promise you that. First, I'm gonna teach you how to properly dice an onion. First, cut off each half an end. Take off the skin. First, what you wanna do is this sideways, cut two slits right across. Don't cut all the way through. You wanna leave about half an inch, okay? And you turn around, start cutting down like that. Same thing, leave about half an inch. Just cut through whatever width you want, how fine you want, want it diced, and you just start chopping afterwards. Now once we have these onions diced up, you want to start working on the olives. Well, all you want to do is basically pit them, get the pit out, and just finely chop them up. This will take a little bit of time, but it's okay. Now we got all the pits removed, all we just want to do is just roughly chop them up and then set them aside. Next, we want to mince up the garlics. Just take them off the skin. Give it a good smash with the back of your blade. And just, just chop away. One good tip about chopping is you can use the shape of the knife. You see how the knife is a little bit curved here? You can just basically hold down one end, just go like this, and it just automatically chop itself. Next up, we got the chicken. What we want to do is called butterfly in the chicken. It's just simply open it up from the side here. Open it up. Now you have this butterfly shape of a breast. We're going to cut it in half, separate it, and then thinly slice it. And there's this an angle, just slice it down, nice and thin. Now that we get everything prepped, first thing you want to do is to preset your oven up to 400. And then what you want to do is cook off some of the meat first. So let's start with the chicken. Just all you need is just a little bit of oil. Make sure the pan is nice and hot. And just start cooking it off. You just want to cook it through. Always remember when you're cooking meat, you always want to season it a little bit just with some salt. And when a chicken's cooked through, all you have to do is just set it aside for now. Okay, now the chicken's done, next thing you want to do is brown the beef. Here's an important tip about browning beef. You don't want to crowd the pan too much, so you just want to do a little bit at a time, or else you just end up steaming it. Make sure the pan's hot. You don't want to play around with it too much, just let it sear. And once it's browned a little bit, then you can start mashing it up. Now we have all the meat prepared, what we want to do is start building the base. First off, we're going to start sauteing some onions. You just want to cook it until it's a little bit translucent, and then you start adding in the rest of the stuff. Now that onion is ready, you want to add in your raisins, your olives, and your garlic and saute it for about a minute. Now what you want to do is reincorporate back the beef. Give it a good mix so it's nice and even. Now put in your cumin. 
the paprika, give it a good stir. Then add in the flour. This is going to help thicken your broth later on, so it's nice and thick. So you just want to mix it in. This way it also helps eliminate the little lumps so you can take lumpy broth. And you just pour your beef sauce. Mix it in. And you bring it back to a simmer and just let it simmer until the stock reduces and thickens up. Once it's almost done, here's another good tip. You always want to taste what you're cooking along the way, so this way you can adjust the seasoning. Up next is the cornmeal. This is basically what's going to be different. Instead of eating mashed potatoes, what we're going to do is make, make a nice puree of the cornmeal. So you put a cornmeal in a pot, add your milk, you want to bring it to a simmer, and, let, and just let it become nice and smooth. Okay, in the end, what you end up having is this consistency that's very close to like a whipped mashed potato. Okay, it's nice and thick and creamy. All you have to do now is just season it with a little bit of salt. Give it a good mix and we're good to go. Now that we have everything prepared, now what we want to do is assemble everything. You can either use a casserole dish or use these individual ceramics. First thing you want to do is just put the meat in the bottom, about a quarter way up. And then what we have done, we have these eggs. You put one half in the center. Just push it down a little bit. I'm gonna top it off some chicken. Just one layer is good. And then finally, you wanna add this cornmeal puree as your topping, spread all over. And once you put everything together, it's ready to go to the oven, just like that. We preheated the oven to 400 degrees. Now what we want to do is bake it for about 25 minutes. Okay, now we've been baking for about 25 minutes. Last thing we need to do is just to brown up the top. So we're going to switch it to broil. Let it broil for about five minutes until it's golden brown. Now that it's done, just got to take it out. Look, it's nice and brown on the top. It's ready to go. This is today's ingredients. Two pounds of ground beef, four chicken breasts, four hard boiled eggs, one cup of raisins, half a cup of olives, one onion, two garlic cloves, two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of cumin, two cups of beef broth, two tablespoons of flour, two cups of cornmeal, three cups of milk, one cup of cream, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Don't be afraid to make something new once in a while. With a few easy steps and a few new ingredients, you too can make pastel de choco. So until next time, I'll see you on a bachelor's day.